All right, guys, welcome back for another episode of our series widgets of the day. And today it's the container. Very simple, very basic widget, but you need to master it in order to create very beautiful apps. If you like the channel, guys, if you like those videos that I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like. It will really tell me that you like the content I'm putting out and encourage me to do more of it. So let's jump right into the container. So we're here on the app that we've created the other day. And as you can see, it's only a material app with a scaffold. I'm setting the background color of the scaffold to a shade of blue. We've seen that in the first uh, scaffold uh, video. And then I have center widget uh, and a child of the center widget, our container. And you see here, I have a lot of commented code. We'll go through it. But you see here, I have my container and I've set a width and a height to it, but we don't see it on the screen. Well, that's because we didn't put any colors to it. And that's why we can't see it. So perhaps if we say that our container is going to be red, well, as you can see right here on the screen, we have our container. So I've set the center widget uh, above as a parent of my container. But if you want to move it around, you have another widget called aligned or positioned. And perhaps we'll see those uh, widgets in later videos if you're interested to actually uh, move around your, your widget uh, with a little bit more details into the screen. So the container itself takes a width and a height. So perhaps here, if I take the width of 200, you'd see that I have something more rectangular. I can go back, I can make it, I can make it longer as well. It really doesn't matter. You can really expand it as much as you want. And I've set the color to colors equal red. So now let's go ahead and deal a bit with decoration parameter of our container. So first thing that you need to do for a container is that you cannot have a decoration parameter as well as a color parameter. You need to move your color parameter inside the decoration parameter. So here, if I'm doing that, you don't see it obviously because um, the, the background color is the same. But if I, I just do that, I could have just pasted it. If I just do that and comment it, you'd see that we have our widget appearing on the screen again. So let me make it white and let's go ahead and discover the bar border parameter of our box decoration. So you see here, if I uncomment that, you'd see that we have a little border that appeared around our container. And this border here, I'm setting it to all of the four uh, sides of our container and I'm setting it to gray, but I can set it to uh, let's say red, for instance, and you'd see the border is a bit more clear on the screen. You have the access of the width parameter here. So let's get crazy. If I say 10, you'd see that we have a way thicker border on our widget, our container. So that's for the, the border uh, itself. Maybe you want to round the corners of your container. Well, if you want to do that, you only need to access the border radius parameter and set it to perhaps circular and 20. And you'd see right here that we have a nice border rounded uh, container on the screen. So let me maybe jump that, yes, to one. So it's a bit more clear. So we have that. You say here we have a container. It's kind of a rectangle, squarish container. You perhaps want to have a container that is a circle where you can access that directly into the shape parameter of your container. Notice that you can't have a border radius as well as a shape parameter at once. Makes sense because you have a circle here, which has, a, well, a radius of, uh, of 100. So you want to comment the border radius and save that and see directly you have a circle shape and you have access as well to a rectangle shape if you want it to be like this. So let's comment that and go back on the border radius. Another stuff that I really like on containers, and you would see it more and more uh, uh, on designs in different apps, is having, uh, having a shadow behind the container. And this is what I've tried to do here. I have a very nice type of shadow accessing the, the, the box shadow parameter. It takes actually a list of different box shadows. Okay, and if I'm saving that, I will change the color to make it a little bit more clear and I will remove the border because you, having a border with a shadow is a bit weird. But here I'm saving this and you'd see that I have my box shadows and 
immediately you see that it really brings the container forward into the app. And you have here our, our second uh, uh, um, box shadow uh, parameter in our list, which is the white. It's dealing with all of this shadow right here. And the first parameter, which is a black right here, is dealing with the entire bottom and right side of our container. And it's actually pretty cool because it makes it like the light is shining from the top left of your app. And you can really think about that when you're developing your app, perhaps here it's a bit too much, but you see the point there. You can make it more transparent, a see through kind of effect. It's really nice. So once you have your container like this, you have a lot of different other parameters that you can go through, but we went through the most important in terms of decoration. And you can have, of course, a child parameter of your container. And basically a child parameter is gonna be something that will be inside the container itself. So you see here for my child, I have a center widget because I want my text to be centered. And then I've just, uh, uh, used a text widget with some styling properties and we'll go through the text widget in a later video, but that's exactly what it does. And I'm centering it all inside my container. And like this, we have a very beautiful and functioning widget, a container. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe again. That really helps me out a lot and drop down in the comments, the widgets that you would like me to cover in the next video. Well, for now I say bye guys.